Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Today, I want to tell you about my worst year in business. Why do you ask? Do I want to talk about my worst year in business? I don't really want to talk about it. However, I want to talk about it for you because I think when you hear what I went through, it might help some of you who could possibly be in the same boat as I was. So, for those of you who don't know, I started my business back in 2002. I used to be in advertising sales. I've been in sales and marketing for my whole career, basically since I was 16. I've been in sales and marketing jobs, right? I've been in advertising, which is where I loved working with small business owners and really fell in love with that uh, and helping people really make more money in their business. And, uh, and I was consulting them on many different things while I was trying to sell them ads in the paper. Uh, but when I went out on my own, uh, I thought I knew a lot about a lot. I was very stubborn as far as learning uh, new things. I thought, well, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm good, thanks, right? So first mistake, being too stubborn to listen to advice of others. I listened to a little bit of advice, but not a lot of advice. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And then, um, about three years into my business, I hired a mentor who showed me some things on how to really jumpstart my business and what I could do differently, how I could charge differently, how I can do different business models. That's how I really learned about the online marketing world and how to do more leveraged business models. And thank God for that mentor. And thank God I found her when I did, even though I couldn't afford her when I did sign up with her. Um, I did it anyways, because I knew that I was meant to do this, and I knew that she would tell me how, and it would be all be okay. So I trusted, again, this is another lesson, I trusted and had faith that she was going to show me what to do as quickly as possible, and I would be able to implement and do it in my business no matter what, and I would start making more money. And I did. In 90 days, I totally transformed my whole business. In 90 days. Okay, so that was a pretty good time. Now, I was rocking and roll in here, but still hadn't gotten to the six figure mark in my business. And a lot of other people that I was hanging out with and masterminding with at that time were, they were making six figures. I'm like, well, how come I'm not? What's going on? How come I'm not there yet? Why is it taking so long? I don't know if any of you feel that way. <laughs> maybe you do, maybe you have, maybe you're already there. Um, I'm there now, but the, when I started thinking, okay, I got so close. One year it was like 75,000. And then the next year, oh my God, it was like 90 something thousand dollars. I'm like, oh my God, right? Like how come I just, I did, well, one thing, the lesson is to know your numbers. Know where you are in your sales uh, for the year before you get to tax day and you have to look back after the year is gone and go, oh, if only I'd sold another $9,000, I would have hit my goal, right? But I didn't look at my numbers. I still sometimes only look at them like quarterly, frankly, because I don't wanna, anyways, <clears throat> something to do. Think about it, look at your numbers, because if you do have goals to hit, you need to know where you're at with your goal. So the last year before I made $100,000, I, um, I regretted not looking at my numbers because uh, I could have pushed a little harder in December or something to get over that mark and get to my goal. And had I known where I was, I thought I was a lot lower than that. So there's that. <clears throat> Still not the worst year yet, right? Those are all good things. I've progressed every year in my business pretty much um, with making more money. Always good things to do is increase your revenue, right? So it was the year that I was like, this is the year I need to make 100,000. I don't know, I've done everything I could possibly do. I do all this marketing and follow up and I'm, I've got the right sales funnels. I've got all this stuff for sale and I'm in front of a lot of people. I speak, I network, I go to a lot of events. What else could I possibly do to hit six figures in my business? So I hired this mentor for $25,000. He promised to show me how to make a lot more money, right? Went to some of his events. I was in his mastermind. There was 15 of us. We would meet, I don't know, probably we met three or four times a year in person in various places like Las Vegas and various places. 
and uh, spent a lot of money in addition to the 25,000, frankly, for the hotels and the travel and the fine dining and all these experiences. And the whole time in my coaching calls and in our mastermind meetings, when it was my turn to have the hot seat, I'd be like, okay, people, okay, tell me what I need to do in order to make six figures this year. What do I need to do? And I would just stand up there waiting for the magic bill, the answer, the golden ticket, the thing that they said, oh, well, tweak your website, change this, add this product, do this thing. Nope, nobody was saying any of those things because I did have a pretty good smooth running business machine, but it just hadn't, I wasn't able to push it over that mark. I said, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to get to that six figures on a consistent basis? What do I need to do? <clears throat> Every single one of my friends and this mentor were telling me, just be, Katrina, just be. And I'm like, what? What do you mean be? Just tell me what to do. I need to make more money. I don't know what to do. And I'm like, just be. And I'm like, but I don't, I don't get it. And they said, just be love. Be love. Be when you go somewhere. Just be, be. Be with people. Don't worry too much about what to do or what to say or what to bring with you. Just be. And I'm like, I don't get it. I'm paying you a lot of money. I'm in this group. Like, how am I supposed to? So the whole year, I would cry. I would be so frustrated. And then I would cry all year long. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't even know why you're telling me this. Right? And I would go to events. And I would say, okay, just be whatever. Okay, hey, how can I help you? Who are you? Okay, I would ask questions. I would just be with people. I would just, you know, listen to them, provide some resources, and make myself available, basically, is what I was doing. In a good, positive way. I wasn't all frustrated. I didn't have frustration. <laughs> I was frustrated in my meetings when they were telling me to do this. But when I would go out, I would be open and inviting and welcoming, of course. So I did this for a year. Right, because they told me early on, it wasn't like they told me in eight months down the road that this is what I needed to do. They told me early on, and so I struggled with it and I fought it and I was frustrated with it and I cried about it for many months. <clears throat> what do you think happened at the end of that 12 months, that end of that year with that mentor and that mastermind? What do you think happened? Mm -hmm. I had six figures in my business. What, like, how the hell is that happening? And I don't know, I didn't do anything differently in my business. I didn't sell anything different. I didn't launch a new program, a new book. I didn't do much different. I didn't speak a lot more than I did before. It was pretty much the same even keel stuff that I was doing. I was just being different. Yes, I was. I was being different. And lo and behold, I also found, I was single at the time, and I was telling everybody, of course, who you know, that's a guy, ages whatever, whatever, and with one or two kids. And so that was my networking spiel, my commercial, right? I wanted a man at the time. And uh, at the end of that year, I found who I thought was going to be the love of my life at the end of that year. So I got love and money at the end of that year, right? Which is why I now talk about love and money a lot is because when you focus on a lot of that stuff, you can have both, right? My point is, and why this was the worst year ever, Katrina, why is this the worst year in your business ever? Because I was so tortured. Because I didn't let go of my own ego, my own limiting beliefs, my own sense of I know better than you uh, stuff my stubbornness. I didn't give in to the coaching, to the advice. I didn't really, I could have done it a lot sooner. I probably would have made twice as much money that year had I given in sooner and not fought it all the way. Right? So the lesson is here, are you coachable? Right? Are you butting your head up against the wall, trying to do something yourself or learn something yourself instead of taking Really good advice from someone who can teach you the right thing to do, whether it's being loved, just be, or whether it's a specific strategy in your business, or whether it's to redesign your website when you want to do it yourself on GoDaddy. Ah, don't do that, right? It's, 
are you coachable? Are you taking the right, making the right action steps in your business? Because I, I, this entrepreneurial stuff is not for the faint of heart, right? If you've been in business for a little while, you know what I'm talking about. You have to be strong. You have to stay positive and stay motivated, stay determined. You have to have faith in yourself every single day. You have to believe that you're worth it. You have to know you deserve X number of dollars. You have to just all the time feel those things. And it can, um, your, your head trash, your monkey brain, whatever, can play havoc in there if you're not careful. If you don't have checks and balances in like a mentor, a mastermind, or a coach, or something who can really help you stay in that, that conversation that needs the positive conversation of the things to do and who can give you that quick advice and feedback to course correct what you're doing quickly and, and efficiently and affordably, frankly, then you're going to not see results for a lo much longer period of time. It's going to take longer. You still might see increases in your revenue and, and some good things happening, and I want that for you. But I don't, I, I just don't believe that there's a lot of us out there who can do this business stuff without mentors and without advice one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, there's courses online, there's downloadable things and free stuff everywhere, but without that really direct, like, you need to do this. This is what you need to say. This is, don't do this and do this. Without that real specific customized advice to you and what you're doing, I don't see hardly anybody seeing huge success in, in this day and age because there's too much to know. There's too much to learn. There's too much technology. I just had a client, for example, <clears throat> who is working in my group, in my International Entrepreneur Network. She invests a very little amount, but she comes and she gets advice for her stuff, but then she doesn't take the advice. She's still not taking the advice. <clears throat> and she's still trying to do something differently and cheaper and easier. And trust me, I want to save you money I want you to do it the most affordable way possible. I will not tell you to do something expensive unless I 100% believe that you have to do it this way. But there's so many options these days, no matter what it is you're trying to do, whether it's build a website or um, market yourself on social media or host your own live event. There's a lot of ways you can waste a lot of money, but some things are non-negotiable. Some things you, you cannot negotiate with. You do not want to skimp on. You do not want to skimp on the positioning of your brand and yourself. You do not want to look like you built your own website. You do not want to look like you're not the professional expert that you are. I don't care what you're selling. You need to look the part online, number one. You need to act the part in videos and speaking and live networking events. You need to be the one that's positioned to make the money that you want to, that you want to achieve, right? Not just settle for the positioning you currently have and the pricing you currently have. Let's position you higher. So it's my worst year in business ever was the year that I had to learn how to let go of my own, just my own ego, my own uh, um, think I know it better kind of attitude. I had to let go of that. And so it was an internal struggle. That was make, what made it the, the worst year ever. It was that internal struggle for over a year that I did to myself frankly, I self-sabotaged myself for longer than I needed to in my business had I just given in quicker. Even with that first mentor who showed me a bunch of stuff, I was still like, no, no, no. She wanted me to brand and, and position myself in a certain way. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. I think I should do it this way. Instead of listening to someone who was making a lot more money than me that really knew what I should have done. And I'd be probably in the millions right now had I listened to her, honestly. But uh, it's neither here nor there. The point is, when are you going to release your control and let go 
and let in the help and advice that you truly need. Whether it's me or somebody else, I just happen to be here. I happen to be very knowledgeable about a lot of different things to running your business. Uh, and because I've done it, I've done it, I've learned about it, I've hired people to help me with it, I have a team, I've had multiple mentors, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in learning what I need to do to run a business more successfully. And I've worked with just dozens of types of businesses. So I don't care what kind of business you throw at me. I've done it. I've worked with somebody in that type of business model from retail to nonprofit, network marketing, coaching, online, offline. It doesn't matter. Okay. So there's not a lot of other business coaches and marketing coaches out there that have the wide variety of experience that I do and the depth of knowledge and the ability to see and be intuitive with what you need quickly and be able to show you the different options and teach you along the way. Well, if you do it this way, then it's this way. And if you do it that way, then you can do this. Pros and cons of this and this. Most people just give you one path because that's all they know. I happen to know many paths and I like to put them out on a buffet table and show you these are your options. This is pros and cons of this, the cost of this one, which one are we gonna do? I think this one's the best one, but if you wanna do this or this, I'm behind you to do that, right? So not a lot of people, business coaches, do this kind of coaching. And I don't wanna just keep going on and on and on about it, but honestly, you have to think, how far are you going to get? Where you, are you gonna get where you wanna go? This year, next year, perhaps? When are you going to let go of some of these uh, limiting beliefs, fears, doubts, and control, and need to be right? Uh, take it from me. It doesn't serve you, and it doesn't get you to the money faster if you do that. <clears throat> so where it, what are some of the options, right? Um, the best option is to have a conversation with me, and I know that sometimes uh, people shy away from having a conversation with someone because they think you're going to sell them. Well, I don't want to sell you if you don't want to be sold. I don't want to talk to you about my programs and services if you don't feel like it's even a good fit to work with me. Trust me, I don't want to spend more time on the phone with you unless you're really interested, okay? Some people say, well, I can't afford you, Katrina. First of all, you don't even know how much it is. So stop saying that and self-talk, sabotaging yourself already before we even have a conversation. Most people actually get some really good tips and advice from that free conversation. And I've had people where they didn't hire me, but I gave them some advice. They went out and made 10 grand that month instead of five because of the advice that I gave them. I've had people make 10 grand in a month from their first coaching call. I've had, it's not you know typical, but it happens. It's totally possible. It depends what you do and, and how much action you're willing to take. I have a nonprofit who just told me the other day that she's now pulling in uh, almost $14,000 a month in her pocket. And she wasn't pulling in hardly half that, if not less than that in the nonprofit. She had no revenue when we first started in the nonprofit, okay? She has her own for-profit and a nonprofit, and she's making so much money now after paying expenses in the nonprofit and paying her staff and all the operating expenses and stuff. So it can happen. It's not gonna happen overnight. Can it happen in 90 days? Yes, you can make a lot more money in 90 days. I talk about a three-year entrepreneur evolution plan because in three years, if you give me a good amount of time, we can get a lot of things automated, delegated, systematized. We can introduce a lot more business models, a little more revenue generation. Sometimes it takes somebody a year to even come around to doing video. I mean, it just depends. You're all different. But the, the, um, so the thing is, if you can come to a phone call with me, we can explore and see if it's a good fit. You kind of know I'm a blunt in your face, tell it like it was kind of gal, but I also respect your opinion and, and I respect the way that you need to, to receive information, but know that I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna push you to do as much as we can. Now, if you're limited on time, I want you to have a life too. I don't want you to work 60 hours a week. So that's just a little bit about my coaching philosophy. But again, we're not even there yet, right? Let's have a conversation and see if it's even a viable option. But I've had people start with just a couple hundred bucks and they can maybe come and try me out, right? I've had people jump in with two feet and they're ready to go and they dive into the bigger program, right? So every, I mean, 
I have options from $20 to $20,000 and everything in between. So it will fit your budget. So just stop worrying about how much it's going to cost and let me figure out how I can help you. Okay. And we'll work it out together. I'm, I'm not a cut and dry. It's this or that, or see that there's the door kind of person. It's, I want to help every entrepreneur make more money doing what you love so you can stop working so hard. And so let me see how I can help you do that. If it's a good fit, let's make a way. Okay. So you can come and talk to me. You just go to askcat.biz, A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. Come and talk to me. It's complimentary. I ask you a few questions on that page um, as to what your goals are and all that kind of stuff. We'll have a conversation. We'll see what's the right fit for you. Maybe it's just to come to the next event. Maybe it's to get a book. Maybe it's, you know, I don't know, a call. Maybe it's the International Entrepreneur Network for seven bucks a month. There's all kinds of options, you guys. Do not run and hide from people like me, especially me. Um, and even if you have another coach, I guarantee that coach doesn't cover everything I cover. Most coaches don't even talk about direct mail, and it's one of the key staples of your follow-up system that you must do these days. And if they're not talking to you about that, what are you listening to someone who's not going to tell you all the different things that you need to do? We need to get you a full running smooth running money making business machine and there's certain things that are non-negotiables in really making that happen i've been doing this for a long time 17 years now in business and i've been in six figures or multiple six figures since that worst year ever back in 2008 and so you do the math uh, and i can help you uh with a lot of different things and i want to i want to be there for you and I'm rambling now, so come and talk to me. Go to askcat.biz, and hopefully you won't see any more bad years ever in your business. You only can jumpstart it and let you skyrocket to the top. So thank you for listening, and I hope to talk with you soon.